CNN and MSNBC call Trump a slave master then make sickening accusation of what kneeling blacks will soon be doing for him. NFL protesters and the left in general love to dub President Trump as a racist, and the mainstream media loves to jump on that term and allow the false and hateful rhetoric to be spread on their networks nationwide. However, the reality is that Trump is simply expressing the same freedom of speech that so many of these people claim they are expressing themselves. He may be the president, but as a citizen he covered by the same First Amendment as the rest of us, and he is right in his criticism of the NFL kneeling game. What so many refuse to see is that after being attacked and lied about long before he won the 2016 presidential campaign, he now feels comfortable saying anything he feels necessary because regardless of his words, the media will twist it, and the leftist will attack him for it. CNN and MSNBC decided it would be a good idea to feature a speaker who would push the rhetoric that Trump is racist by claiming that he is starting a race war and that he is a racial arsonist. According to InfoWars On another night of NFL players taking a knee, CNN and MSNBC featured programming and guests devoted to openly calling President Trump a racist white supremacist with separate talking heads saying that the president wants to see black people as slaves kneeling in cotton fields. Al Sharpton's MSNBC broadcast featured former Chicago Bulls player Craig Hodges, who leveled an incredible accusation, even by the network's usually OTT standards. Is, Trump, trying to kind of front-end or interfere with those that are boycotting on behalf of Kaepernick? Sharpton asked Hodges. Well, first of all, Reverend Al. I want to thank God for giving us the opportunity to wake up this morning and speak on behalf of our people," Hodges replied, adding when I look at where we are right now, it's beyond us getting justice in America. It's absolutely time for the Congressional Black Caucus to call for human rights violations that have occurred, past and previously, you know, and I think right now it's a civil rights issue within the context of what President Trump said the other night," Hodges continued. And, you know, when I think about his whole thing is when was Amer, make America great again. Now we see that 1817 is more likely when he's thinking about America being great as opposed to us kneeling on behalf of righteousness and justice, he wants us to be kneeling in the cotton fields again. Hodges exclaimed. He then accused the president of trying to ignite a race war. Right now it's a standard that he has set where he's trying to set up race, a basic race war. And it's ugly, man. And then to hear him just to go off on black women and women should be outraged all over the planet Earth. Hodges insisted. He then accused the president of trying to ignite a race war. Right now it's a standard that he has set where he's trying to set up race, a basic race war, and it's ugly, man. And then to hear him just to go off on black women and women should be outraged all over the planet Earth. Hodges insisted. Over at CNN, political contributor Keith Boykin called Trump a white supremacist and a slave master apostrophe colon we have a white supremacist as the president of the United States. He's encouraging white supremacy, and the fact is. He's playing the plantation politics. He thinks apparently that he is a slave master of black people in the NFL, of black people in the country. Boykin stated. Further programming featured Democratic Representative Hakeem Jeffries suggesting that Trump is a KKK supporter, time and time again he's refused to distance himself from individuals like David Duke, an avowed white supremacist, as well as others for reasons that many of us can't figure out, Jeffries said. Why in the world would anyone equivocate, particularly the leader of the free world, as it relates to individuals like the KKK and neo-Nazis? That's deeply troubling. But we know Donald Trump has a history of fanning the flames of racial hatred, using stereotypes to advance his own personal and political agenda, Jeffries added, calling Trump a racial arsonist. Meanwhile, CNN's Jim Acosta asked a question at the White House press briefing Monday with the specific goal of injecting race into the conversation why is it that the president over the weekend is going after, or seeming to go after African American athletes, and then this morning he is putting out a tweet praising NASCAR, which obviously is geared toward a different demographic, and the way they stand and respect and honor the flag. Acosta asked, adding is he trying to wage something of a culture war? Not at all, 
the president is not talking about race, Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders replied, adding the president is talking about pride in our country. An ABC reporter also took a swipe at Trump by asking does the president believe that there are very fine people who kneeled yesterday watching those games, or are they all sobs? It is disgusting that these people can say whatever they want about a white man with an opinion, yet if a white person says anything about the black rioters, it is automatically called racists. The only people who have pushed a race war narrative are the black protesters who are screaming for a white genocide. The racial divide was started by Obama and carried even further by every black activist and race baiter that the left can throw at us. It seems they are more worried about race than actually fixing the social injustices they claim are the issue, the issue.